Good morning, you guys. This morning, we are just a few days before Christmas, and I am getting ready to make some ooey gooey brownies. And I'm gonna show you how I put this together. I have a box of Betty Crocker cake mix right in here, and you can use any cake mix, Hill Country Fair, you can use um, anything. So you just need a regular box of chocolate cake mix. It can be devil's food, it can be any kind. So we'll put that in there. We're gonna go ahead and put one egg in, and we're gonna give that a mix. These are the easiest brownies you'll have ever done. And uh, we got that egg going. We have a third cup of milk. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I want you to use whole milk if you're gonna do it. Put it in there and we get this mixed up. And you're gonna love this because these brownies are the ooeyest and the gooeyest. They come together so quickly, they're done so quickly, and they keep in your refrigerator for a week and a half. And so we've got a fourth of a cup plus a tablespoon of oil. And I use, as you can see, I use the Hill Country vegetable oil right there. You don't um, have to spray your pan. You put a little bit of parchment in your pan, just like I do. I use an eight by eight glass dish. My oven is set on 350 degrees. Let me show you how this looks so far. This takes five minutes to put together. And what happens is you come up with such a delicious brownie. Like I said, it's gooey, it's gooey, it's fudgy, and you just think, wow. I can get this done so quickly. So my oven is set, as I said, is at 350 degrees. And see the, the dough, the batter is ready to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add eight to 10 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Do not use the milk chocolate because it will be too, way too sweet. There we go. There we go. Almost there. All right. I'm going to turn this off while I put the batter into the pan, and then I'll come back. There we go. That's what it looks like. Now into the oven for 20 minutes. As you can see, I just used one piece of parchment paper. I cut the edges up and then I'll fold it. I can store it in this parchment paper in the refrigerator when it's done. It's a lot better than wasting two large pieces of par parchment paper. So we'll come back after they're done. These ooey gooey brownies just came out of the oven. Now you'll notice they're puffy. They're going to be settling down and they need to cool off. You should not cut them when they are ooey and gooey like this. You need to wait till they cool. Then after they cool, you will take them and either serve them right away or refrigerate. You can bring them to room temperature before you serve them or leave them cool. I love to serve them with ice cream. Oh my gosh, a little bluebell on top of this and you are good to go. Anyway, try this. It's easy, it's fun, the kids can do it, and have a great day.